Welcome to chapter 1 of the video companion to our tutorial book, Happy Learn Haskell Tutorial. You can read and purchase your copy of our book by going to the website www.happylearnhaskelltutorial.com where you'll find links to buy or read online. In this video, we'll explain why our tutorial is good to use to learn to program and why to choose Haskell. We're guessing you're probably a lot like us. You got interested in computers and were really fascinated by software. After a while of using computers, you probably got curious about how the software works. Maybe you wanted to have something work differently on some of the software you use. Or maybe you just had an idea for some software that no one had made yet and you wanted it to exist. Either way, you want to build your own programs. We went through a lot of effort and struggle to learn programming, so we think we can help you to learn it in a better way, saving some time and annoyance. It will still take effort, but we don't think it has to be painful. In fact, we've built our course in such a way that actually makes it fun. You might be wondering, why Haskell? After all, there are a lot of programming languages around of all different types. Some work closer to the way the computer works, others work more like the way people think. Well, Haskell works more closely to the way people think, and at its core, it only has a few simple rules. These rules are really easy for people to think about once they understand them. Where other programming languages allow the programmer to tell the computer what to do, Haskell allows us to say what results we want from the computer. This is very similar to the difference between giving someone a set of steps to travel to get to a location, or giving them a map and marking the points on the map and asking them to find the path for themselves. Haskell is more like the map, and it is better because it's more concerned with us recording our actual intended meaning rather than simply specifying one way to get to our meaning. That is, it's very much more interested in the answer to the question what rather than the question how. This means programs written in Haskell are easier to understand, modify, reuse and change even when we didn't write them ourselves. Haskell is a programming language that works at a higher level than most others in common use today. Here we mean that it's capable of expressing very abstract concepts. It's also very consistent in the way that it works, which makes understanding it fully a much simpler task. The whole language is built on top of some simple principles, such as using values, types and substitution. And this is what makes it very interesting, powerful, and easier to modify programs as time goes on, and programs develop in complexity. This is also what makes it capable of letting you write things that are more difficult to do, or perhaps even impossible, in many other languages. As well as that, Haskell also helps you to be more aware of what you mean as you program, because it requires us to be clearer about what we're asking the computer for, which in turn means you begin to understand the nature of the problem you're trying to solve better. So, getting back to learning. We think a really great way to learn is by seeing and understanding whole programs, and only after you understand them, trying to create whole programs yourself. Usually, creating whole programs is just too much to ask of a beginner. But we can use a very clever trick here. These whole programs are allowed to be tiny. So there are two phases to your learning. Phase 1 is where we show you a variety of tiny programs and gradually get you used to some things. And Phase 2 is where it's your turn. Once you've seen those features in practice, it's time to write your own small programs that use those features, slowly building until you're creating your own larger programs. So, we'll start the programs out tiny and then build them bigger as we go. We'll build them into larger ones by adding to them piece by piece. You're interested in programming to build the programs you want to make. And so we'll show you how to read and then make programs. This creating phase gets introduced very gradually after about lesson 12. Before then, we'll just get you to type in the programs for yourself, making sure you understand them, and start to change them a little bit here and there to reinforce your understanding. The important idea here is first to understand and then to create. As we travel along building these practical, useful programs together, We've cleverly crafted them to make sure that you get to use different parts of Haskell. In fact, when you've finished our course, you will have built many programs using almost all of the features that Haskell has to offer, so you'll know how to build almost any program you'd like to. And we've created our exercises so that they repeat the knowledge in a way that helps you to remember them to use what and where. This is practical application. 
and it's a very good way to anchor things in your memory. That way, when you've finished our course, not only will your memory be full of real ways to do real things, but you'll also have actually done a lot of these things yourself. So that later on, when you need to build something yourself in one of your future programs, you'll know just what to reach for, or how to start it, or where to look to find out what you need, because this stuff will already be in your memory. The path between what you want to do and how to do it will already have been mapped out. When described like this, it's very much like this tutorial is more like an apprenticeship than a course, except that it's designed specifically with beginners in mind. Therefore, it should be much more fun and easier than an apprenticeship ever would be. So, to learn Haskell, just follow along with our tutorial and make sure you try out all of the programs in the book and do all of the homework in the homework sections. That's all for now. In the next video, we'll look at our first Haskell program and begin to understand it. Please do go and have a look at our book at www.happylearnhaskelltutorial.com. Tell everyone about our tutorial and purchase your own copy. You'll be supporting our work on this project and you'll get sent updates whenever they happen and get access to bonus materials that you can't get elsewhere. We really hope you've enjoyed this and don't forget to rate, subscribe and leave a comment to let us know what you think.